everybody welcome back to the black and red builds channel uh first of all i want to say uh sorry i haven't put a video out in a couple of weeks we are um we were on vacation and then when we got back we had to deal with this massive hurricane helene uh fortunately here where we're at um our house everything was okay we didn't get any damage or anything like that we are just south of tampa bay we are in the uh, manatee county area is uh where my house is at so um, we're a little further inland. We're not right on the coast. We're a few miles in, so we didn't uh, get too much here. Just a lot of rain and some uh, uh, wind, but no flooding or anything right here where we're at. Around us, there was quite a bit. And uh, if you're a praying kind of people or just, uh, just want to put positive vibes out there for all the people who have uh, really lost everything, a lot of people's lives have been destroyed by this storm. It was just a massive massive storm uh all, all the way uh up and down the coast of florida into georgia uh parts of alabama south carolina north carolina tennessee uh this storm has caused uh massive flooding and problems and issues and and again destroyed people's homes and businesses so put some positive vibes out there for these people and uh uh, yeah, our thoughts are with them. Uh, thankfully, like I said, here at the Black and Red Builds headquarters, uh, everything was okay and we didn't have any issues. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. Today, we're going to be working on uh, box nine, stages 31 through 34 of the Fan Home slash Diagostini Build Your Own Robocop. Got the box right here. I've actually got two boxes of this ready to build. So we're going to go ahead and get this one done today. So let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, here it is. Here's the box. I've already sliced it open because, again, like I said, I have a couple of these in. So I needed to make sure I had the right one. So let's spin it around here and crack it open and see what we got inside. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get all this onto the desk. Okay, uh, here's all of our parts here. We got all four bags of parts and um, move that out of the way. Underneath we have our magazines 31 through 34. So let's go ahead and get started with issue 31. All right, guys, here's issue 31. Let's go ahead and get a quick look inside. Let's just peruse through real quick. I believe on this one, the part list is, is it in the front? Yeah, pretty close to the front. Here we go. All right, so we're going to be working on the right knee joint here for that other leg that we've been building. And uh, here's our parts here. Uh, we've done these already on the other side, and now we're doing them on the right leg. Uh, this is how it's going to be going together. And uh, it's going to be this section here of the knee. All right, let's quickly go through. Oh, here's the uh, Asimo, Honda Asimo. That's pretty cool. Wouldn't you like to have one of these, man? Those things are pricey, I'm sure. If you can even get one. Flip through real quick. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, I found this little piece in there. It's all broken off, and I was a little bit scared uh, that something's broken. But looking through my parts here, I don't see anything in here that's broken. So I think it's just a little piece that just got broken and made it into my parts here. I don't see anything where it would be broken off from. So uh, hopefully everything's okay there. All right, guys, to start off, we have 31B. That's this piece here. Uh, we have this little bracket, 31F. We have the nut, which is 31G, and two SP screws. And we're going to be putting this inside here. Sorry, this is not 31B. This is 31B here. Okay, it's the other side of that. Uh, we have a little indentation here for the nut to go into. You can see there we're going to drop that nut right in there. Just like that. And then this is going to go over the top to an... Uh, and trap that nut in there. This is 31F. 
this little black uh, bracket. And we're going to screw that in here and here with the two SP screws. I'm going to get out the handy dandy Fantic E1 Max right here. This is a great little electric screwdriver. And if you are interested in getting an electric screwdriver, uh, this one is available in the description down below. So just check down there, click on it, take you right to it. So let's go ahead and get these screws put in. I think I'm going to use this smaller one is P-H-O-O -O or double O. I think that one might be okay for this. These are pretty small. There we go. Get our bracket back on here like that. Let's get one hole lined up and just get that screw put right in there. Yeah. Looks like I got the other hole pretty well lined up. Let's go ahead and get the other screw in. Yeah, it's going to look just like that, but don't do like I did. I went a little too hard and I split it, but it should be fine. It's just holding that nut in there. So, shouldn't be any issues there. All right. Yeah, now we have 31A, the original side that I had out, and we have this spring here, which is 31D, and this piece right here, this is 31C. Okay, we're gonna take the spring, and the spring's gonna go right over this, this uh, top peg right here. We're just gonna drop it right over it, just like that. And then we're going to take this piece, 31C, and it's going to go on over with the uh, ridges facing out. And this little uh, tab here is going to go right into this spot right there. So we're just going to drop it over that peg, push it down uh, right into that spot, just like that. Okay. All right, now we got 31A back here, the one where we put the nut in. And we have 31E, this metal piece here. This is all part of that knee and 31B, this piece here that we just put on. And we're gonna sandwich these together. This is gonna go this way. If you can see, this has the ridges as well. And so it's gonna go over these ridges because that's what's gonna click and lock it into place. So we're gonna put that over the top, just like that, okay? And then this one's gonna go over the top of it and sandwich it together. So you just wanna line it up, sandwich it together like that. And then uh, right through these holes here, in here, we're going to screw this together with two EP screws, which I happen to have right here. So all lined up, let's get it pushed together right, kind of tight because you're fighting that spring in there. Okay, let's get one of these screws and get it put in right there. Okay, get that one started. I'm going to change this out for a little bit bigger bit. This is a bigger screw. This looks like the uh, PHO. All right, and we're gonna go into this hole right here on the bottom. Here we go, should be just like that. You know, we're just gonna secure this joint even better with uh, this bolt here. This is 31H, and it's gonna go through and screw into that nut that we captured on this side. So we're just gonna put it in just like that, and we're gonna screw that in. I'm just gonna use a regular screwdriver on this because you wanna be gentle with it. This one you kind of need to adjust so that this knee can rotate. So we're going to screw that in. I'm not going to go super tight. I'm just going to just kind of snug it a little bit and we're going to see about rotating this joint. Let's see how well it rotates. Okay, it does rotate. We're going to leave it just like that. We're not going to get that any tighter. All right, guys, that's the end of stage 31. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 32. Okay, here's uh, issue 32. Go ahead and flip through that real quick. Filming without a break. I like these uh, pictures. Okay, here's our parts here. We got the uh, rubber part of the knee we're gonna be putting on and these pieces here and here's our screws. And again, we are of course still working on that right knee joint. Uh, here is the assembly. And when we get done, we're gonna have this piece right here. It looks like we're actually gonna be putting it on to that uh, lower leg that we've been working on. So yeah, we're gonna have uh, end up this way. All right, let's flip on through here. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we got our joint that we just built in uh, issue 31 and we're gonna be putting the rubber piece over it. Uh, this is the right knee sleeve. 
And we're going to go this way with the smaller end facing down. Uh, it's going to go just this direction. We're just going to slide it over. And then we're going to bring it all the way as far as we can down. There you go. Like that. All right now we get the right upper knee joint here. This is 32B. And it is marked with an R inside there somewhere. I don't know if you can see that. It's right, right in here. And we're going to be putting that on. It's going to go this way. These two holes here are going to go over these two pegs inside there. So we're just going to slide that on and down on there until those are sitting over those pegs down in there like that. Okay. And then we're going to screw that in through those two holes, the two BP screws. Load these screws up. Let's get them screwed in. It's going to look like that. And now we get the right upper knee joint here, and we're going to be putting it on the other side of that, and we're going to secure that together with two EP screws. So we just need to get that fixed over. Get this pulled down a little bit better. Get that in place just like that. And we're going to screw that in here and here with two EP screws. There we go. It's going to look like that. And we can go ahead and slide the sleeve back up a little bit like that there. We're going to bring our leg over from before. Remember, this goes up here. And we're going to be putting this uh, knee onto this part of the leg. And you can see this channel here. That's where this uh, these grooves are going to go into. So we're going to just slide it over, and then these pegs are going to go through these holes here. There's three of them in these three pegs. Well, let's just get that slid over and down into those holes. Just like that. All right, we're going to attach that down with these two EM screws. All right, and one's going to go through this top hole here, and one's going to go through the bottom hole right here. I'm going to get those real secure, uh, and that thing's not going anywhere. So it's going to look just like that, and it's rock solid on there. They ain't coming off. All right, guys, that's the end of issue 32. Let's go ahead and move on to issue 33. All right, here's issue 33. Let's get a look inside. Box office and videotapes. Let's go ahead and move right on through. Here we go. We're still working on that right leg. We're going to be doing the right calf here. We got these pieces, this big piece and this one, and these uh, screws. And uh, we're going to be attaching that on here, these pieces on. And when we get done, we're going to look uh, just like this here. All right, let's get on through to the end here. Oh, pretty. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're going to get our leg out here, and we're going to be bringing this piece down. Uh, we're going to just pull this out and bring it down parallel with the foot here. All right, we're just going to pivot this, it says, just to pivot this around till it's Parallel to the side. I'm not sure what all this is about, but we're going to do that just like that. Okay, now we have uh, 33A, this big metal calf piece here. I love these metal pieces. They're just so nice looking and heavy. And we're going to be attaching that to this uh, uh, to this piece here. So it's going to go this way, and this calf piece is going to sit over these two pegs just like that. Okay, and then we're going to screw that in with the two BM screws, which I happen to have right here. I haven't used any oil on here yet, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little oil on these. I'm just going to put it right on the studs here, just a bloop on each one, just a bloop bloop, just like that. Again, if you're interested in this oil, this is Liberty Oil Products 100% Synthetic Lubrication, and it works pretty darn good. It'll be in the description down below. All right, let's put this back over the top of those two, and we're going to screw that down with the two BM screws. There we go, nice and snug on there. You know, we're just going to raise this up and rotate it into place and put these together. Slide them all the way together the way they're supposed to be. Just like that. Very nice. Very, very nice. If we can get those really pushed in. Some of these pins are a little harder to get in than others, so you might want to just get on there and just kind of really clamp it like that. Nice. 
Okay, and then from the big toe side here, we're going to attach these together with two EM screws uh, right here and right here. Just going to put a little bit of oil on the screw, a little blue, just like that. And for people wondering why you put the oil, it helps. And when you're going into metal, it helps it go into the metal easier. And okay, there's one. Go ahead and get the other one in. I'm going to get those nice and tight. There we go. It's going to look just like that. Okay, now we got 33B, this little ankle cover piece, and we're going to put that right on here. Just going to put the little pegs in and push it in. It'll look just like that. Covers up the screw holes. All right, guys, that is the end of issue 33. Let's go ahead and move on to issue 34. Okay, here's issue 34. Let's go ahead and look in it real quick. The Bolt of Nuke. All right, here's our parts here. Uh, we're going to be working on the right lower leg, putting these pieces on. These are kind of cover pieces, I believe. Uh, we do have a few screws that's going to be screwing some stuff together here. And uh, when we get done, we're going to look just like this. Very nice. And we're going to have that lower leg just about done. Let's move on to oh, a Roomba. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, we got our leg, and we got 34B, this piece here, and that's going to be going right over the front. We're going to screw that on here with three AM screws. And you can see we got three screw attachments here, and they're going to go just put this over the top. Just like that, and we're going to screw those in. All right, we're going to again, we're going to go into metal, so I'm going to add a little bit of oil to these. I'm actually going to put it on the holes here. There we go. Three little bloops. Put our plastic piece back on, and let's screw those down. All right, it's going to look just like that. And now we have the right knee piece, and we're going to be attaching that on, and it will cover the screw holes as well. And as you see, we have a uh, couple of pins here and here, and they're going to go right into those holes that are on here and just push those in firmly all the way in. There we go. It's going to look just like that. Okay, now we got 34C, this little piece here, and this is going to cover that other screw right here. And as you can see, it's got little lines on it here and here, and it's got a specific shape. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's it's got a little cutout on the top. It's very hard to see it, but that's gonna make it fit in one way. Uh, Cause if you look down in there, you'll see just a little ledge. Again, hard to see, but right at the top, there's a little ledge that that's gonna fit over. And it's gonna line these little lines up with these little lines. So let's just put that on there and push it in. See if we can get that lined up right. And it should just friction fit in there. Nope, it's falling out. That's falling out of there, so we might have to add a little bit of glue to that to get it to stay in. I think the other one fit in okay, but uh, I think we're gonna have to add just a tad bit of glue to get this one to stay in. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, we got our glue here. We're just gonna put just a tiny bit in there. I'm gonna wipe most of it off the brush here. I don't want much on it a very small amount. You just put a little bit in there. And literally just a couple tiny little tiny tiny spots. Push that nice and tight in there. Just let that sit and that'll dry up. But anyways, that's how it's going to look just like that. Nice and clean. Beautiful. Anyways, guys, that is the end of stage 34 and the end of box 9. So let's go ahead and get back up to the main camera. All right, guys, That, like I said, that's the end of box nine, and here we are with the right leg now. It looks like we're just about done. I mean, there's some more little, you know, pieces that's going to go on here and there uh, to finish it up, but the main part of the lower leg is now done, and it looks great. Again, we have the whole left leg is completely uh, finished, so 
uh, looking very, very nice and uh, really enjoying this build. Like I've said before, great build. And I uh, hope you guys are also enjoying it. And if you want to build this yourself, I will leave a link in the description down below to the fan homepage where you can pick this up. I'll start leaving a link for the US and the UK site, but if you go on either one, just go to the top. You can change it, click it, and pick whatever uh, country that is available for these to be shipped to. So anyways, guys, uh, again, I had this little broken piece here in one of the bags. Don't know what it went. Didn't go to anything in line, so I was happy that it wasn't one of my pieces that was broken, uh, but it was in a the bag there. Gave me a little bit of a scare. Anyways, guys, I am out for now. So if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure you leave a comment. Give it a big old thumbs up. Stroll right over there and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time I'm Chewy Solo with this. This is Black and Red Builds. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.